So guys, hello and welcome to another vlog of the Ola Mexico travel series. So today it's time to wrap up from the Oaxaca coast, back up from this uh, hotel and move on back to Mexico City for the last few nights of my stay in Oaxaca and the Ola Mexico travel series. So let's get packing and head to the airport. Although my flight is at uh, 5 p.m. and the checkout time is usually noon here so probably I'll reach a little bit early to the airport. So last night I found this really nice uh, Italian place, another family run restaurant by an actual Italian guy and he gave me like margarita pizza slices and it was closing time so he gave me like uh, two free on two slices of pizza. Sat down with him, uh, he opened a bottle of beer, we were chilling and chit chatting while I was eating. So I had nice company, nice conversations and you know how Italians are like, so we, we get, got talking and he told me all about his travel journey, I told him about mine and it was a really nice experience and then I grabbed some extra, extra slices. So for now that would serve as a light brunch and then I guess I'll just head on out to the airport or maybe leave my bag at the reception and walk around a little bit. We'll see how it goes because after noon anyways, it's gonna be very, very hot and I don't want to land up at the airport uh, extremely sweaty, but we'll see how things go. For the moment, I'm just enjoying the air conditioner for the last uh, bit before I have to head out. Alright, all checked out. Left the bag at the reception so I could walk around for a bit. It's just 12 and the flight is in like 5 hours. I don't expect this airport to be big and have many shops so I'm gonna walk around here. And then found another neem tree. Now I keep finding neem trees, they're bitter mint everywhere. So let's go walk around a little bit, probably in the neighborhood. I don't want to go too far and start sweating already. So remember the Y4 that I crossed the last time? It's right there which means the mango milkshake shop should also be close by um, probably like I think I found it in like five ten minutes from here so that should be very much doable I'll just go there and maybe this time just sit inside the shop enjoy the mango milkshake in peace uh, if that could work out as a nice breakfast maybe it works out as a nice lunch too so then I don't have to pay for anything at the airport that should be cool found a nice mango tree loaded with mangoes but those are like green ones back at home when we used to have these kind of like green sour mangoes that are yet to ripe we used to um, get them from the trees on the streets that don't belong to any one person just to throw stones let them drop down and then dice them add some salt and eat them that used to be like a great experience and they used to taste really amazing with a bit of salt and the sour flavor but yeah ever since then haven't had a chance it's been several years since i ever tried something like that let's hear that just the green mangoes reminded me of the good old childhood days i think i came to the shop but i don't see any the, the guy dancing or the music playing or anything seems awfully quiet today i don't know what's up let's go and find out should be this one it says open from 8 a.m to 11 p.m but where is everybody same shop but the guy is not here today so different lady but i think i managed to explain what i want so let's see So I didn't meet my friend, he did show up but he wasn't dancing today. I guess it's the heat wave that got to him. He said he was having some stomach ache and wasn't feeling well. So he came to say hi and then went back to sleep. <laughs> also the, there was a bit of language translation fail. It wasn't a mango milkshake but more like mango pulp with ice. But I liked it anyway, it was like pure pulp so it was still good. Totally full and this was like 70 pesos so I guess they gave me a uh, friendly discount from yesterday I suppose and because the guy came out to say hi I guess he said he put in a good word for me so got me a discount anyway it's like 1 30 now still have plenty of time before the flight but I have nothing else to do here so I guess just gonna go back to the hotel grab the backpack hop in a cab and head on to the airport it's like seven eight minutes ride not very long 
But I guess inside the airport there should be aircon, so better than staying out in this heat wave. Bye bye Pacific, thank you for showing me a great time. Time to head back to the mainland for some other adventures. Last couple of things on my bucket list, really hoping to be able to accomplish them. Let's see how things go as we get there. Uno cocos fríos, por favor. Si. Si. That was a really nice lunch break. I saw the coconut water guy as well. So had that was like just 40 pesos, including the uh, the meat of the inside of the coconut. They call it coconut carne, which is literally translated to coconut meat. But anyways, they chopped it up, added red chili and lime. So full lunch, all sorted. And remember this shop where I showed you the surfboard had the menu on it. So there's a, the shop is open and the guy is sitting inside. So he just said hello and we started talking. So I had a fun conversation. Got to know the guy, his name is Jorge. Uh, he was like saying if you want surf lessons or something you could go down to the beaches around and uh, give a nice surf lesson and stuff I was like yeah I learned about this a bit too late I'm headed to the airport but anyways it was a cool guy so we're discussing about the Palapa so now I know the name of the thatched roof that they have here in Mexico it's called a Palapa and he had one it's like naturally air conditioned inside every other building is like boiling his is like nice and cool no air condition needed, no nothing. It's like perfect fresh breeze from the sea and naturally cooled by the palapas. Really nice. Anyways, now it's 2 p.m. I've easily killed two hours since I checked out. Now it's time to head to the airport. Now is a good chance, a uh, good time. So, and I see you don't have to book much of a taxi here. Like they are all cruising around this main road. So it's very easy to grab one, just wave one down. And generally speaking in Oaxaca, I haven't found there is any concept of uh, uber or any of those e-taxi stuff those are just like taxis on the road flag them down go where you want kind of concept
hello again from Mexico City but this time terminal 2 the domestic side um, got my backpacks and stuff also witnessed a really nice sunset we were just in time for the sunset so I hope that GoPro caught something and didn't overexpose and destroy the sunset scenes now gonna head out and head to the accommodation this one is a slightly better one because it's my final stay in Mexico and I'm gonna pamper myself for a bit so really excited to check this one out let's see let's find an uber and head to the hotel <laughs> this time they have the cdmx sign right at the domestic airport since i never came from this side so i didn't know this existed but this is another uh, spot for you to take a photo if you're traveling domestically within mexico and arrive uh, maybe if you depart from here as well it's a domestic site This time I'm staying in the Hotel MX uh, Centro and they have a pretty amazing entrance already. I really like it and this is like a block or two away from Zocalo. So I'm very close to all the landmarks again and there is a eatery taqueria like right downstairs. So I'll check in and go eat something there. It was a very smooth check-in. Uh, got the key got a local map and my room is in another building so that's pretty cool uh, seems like a very big hotel and well, they have a roof garden a business center meeting rooms this is the breakfast area that's interesting we'll try to check out the roof terrace when I go out for breakfast in the in the morning okay so I came from there is the reception on the first floor so instead I came to this building on the second floor and that's my room what's this hmm some sort of a safe guess not for me let's see let's go in oh I absolutely love this suite so it's a superior suite and it's like a kitchen and dining area so I also get like some hot plates here to cook something. There's a microwave and a mini fridge down here as well. That's pretty neat. Then there's a well lit up washroom and bathroom area. And this is where the magic happens. Look at the size of the bedroom. It's like huge. One double bed here, one double bed there. And the ceilings are also quite high and there's an air conditioner behind me. And this is the view of the street, but close the windows and blinds and stuff for the AC to cool down the room. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this. Uh, there's also a nice TV, which probably I won't have much time to see given I have some items on my bucket list to check off. But there is also this interesting lobby area, which I don't know how to use this for much, but this I know like on the other side was the, was the kitchen, so. I don't know what people use this for but it's nice it's it's well lit up maybe it's a for the vloggers and content creators this is a perfect place absolutely love this one so as i mentioned this is a group of mx hotels and they have about 13 different locations as i'm told and this is the one in centro and close to zocalo in republic uruguay area and i'll put their social media handles below so you can contact them on facebook instagram tiktok they have everything and i'll take some cinematics of this room and with that i'll end this vlog and i'll see you again in another vlog starting with the breakfast because this time i have breakfast included in this place so enjoy the cinematics and this is the rustic wanderer signing off see you again in another vlog